hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial and this one is perfect for valentine's day we are going to start off by priming our face and i'm going to use the maybelline fit me primer that's the luminous primer so it's not going to leave your skin feeling matte or dry uh yeah so it's a really nice um what is it called yeah primer face primer so i actually love it and then now we're just going to fill in our eyebrows and today i'm feeling a bit edgy therefore i'm going to like do like sharp you know sharp eyebrows you're, you're just going to see so we're going to do some sharp eyebrows and what i'm doing is just that i'm filling in the areas that i don't truly really have eyebrows and i'm just using a black pencil for this and it's because of my skin tone a lot of people say use a dark brown pencil i mean if you're lighter than me go ahead use a dark brown pencil but clearly black on my skin is not going to show and then i'm just going to go in with this rimmel uh brow gel and that's just a clear brow gel as you can see that the, the eyebrows are looking sharp and then i'm just going to go in with this concealer this is the um uh, the normal concealer that i always use to highlight my brows and if you do not know what the purpose of highlighting the brows is mostly it's used for dark skinned people like us uh because the hairs on our skin tend to look like you know uh, the hairs on our brows tend to be the same color as our skin so you just apply a slightly lighter shade of concealer above and below your eyebrows just to make them more defined and more visible on your face essentially it's just to make them more visible as you can see what i was saying when i was going for like the shape of eyebrows <laughs> they're really like sharp uh, that they don't have any rounded edges and then i'm um, just going to blend out that illegal pro conceal concealer that was the shade fawn and then I'm also going to apply a little bit of that concealer on my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow primer. Now this is a very crucial step, if, especially if you want your eyeshadow to last all day long. Use uh, either concealer or an eyeshadow primer on your eyelids first before you apply your eyeshadow. And then now we're going to go in with another illegal color corrector and that is the uh, their orange color corrector. This is just for correcting dark areas on your skin like shadows on your skin uh dark spots on your skin and i'm just going to tap in using a beauty blender now i have not done a makeup tutorial in a while i think the last makeup tutorial that i did was in december during christmas before christmas actually but you guys are just going to forgive me <laughs> if anything goes wrong anyway now it's time for uh, our foundation and I'm going to be mixing two foundations. So I've mixed the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 9N. And I've also me and I've added in a drop of uh, the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Serum Foundation in the shade number 7 to 8. And uh, the ratio was 2 is to 1. So two drops of the 9N and one drop of the 7 to 8 just to try and get a shade that matches my skin the best now i absolutely love this l'oreal true match foundations they are so good they just feel like skin like you don't feel like you have you know a cake on top of your skin essentially they let your skin breathe that's why i absolutely love them and then now we've done concealer uh to to brighten our under eyes and also to highlight the areas that we want highlighted on our face so I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealer for this and this is the shade Cafe which was number 50 and then just for further brightening uh, just under my eyes only and also on the bridge of my nose I had not highlighted the bridge of my nose I'm going to be using the NYX concealer this is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and that's the shade 6.5 and I'm just going to dab in with a peachy blender. Dab, 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 dab. I always use one peachy blender for all my steps. So I'll use the same same peachy blender to apply foundation. Maybe just turn it on the other side and use it to apply the concealer. So, you know, I don't have a lot of wastage. <laughs> and then um, I've just patted in a setting powder, the Black Opal setting powder over the areas I applied concealer. 
and then now as you can see we are already doing our eyeshadow and i've just gone with a very very neutral eyeshadow uh that's just a brown plain eyeshadow and then after applying the brown plain eyeshadow all over my eyelids i'm going to take a bit of glitter eyeshadow and i'm just going to apply it in the inner corners of my eyelid and the inner corners of my eyes just like a brightening effect because i really want like a neutral eyeshadow look so this is a shimmery eyeshadow that i'm applying as you guys can see just to open up my eyes and make them look bigger and nicer and brighter and more fun guys make sure you watch to the end and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel make sure that you subscribe to this channel because i have lots of makeup tutorials i have makeup reviews i have skincare reviews i have clothing reviews and anything under makeup fashion you know skincare so i have all those so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed and i'm just tight lining my waterline with that maybelline pencil and then for this particular step i'm just like using a dark brown eyeshadow under my eyes on my lower eyelid that is and then for now what you're seeing me doing is i'm applying a tiny wing just a tiny wing using the Zaron Cosmetics eyeliner. The, it's the black eyeliner. This eyeliner has lasted me for forever. It is amazing. And then now I'm just going to do my lips. Yeah, because that, that eye look was as simple as that. Uh, plain brown eyeshadow, some shimmery eyeshadow in the inner corners of the eyes and some eyeliner. And that was the eyeshadow look that's it and then now for the lips as you can see i'm just lining my lips this is not a necessary step for everyone i'm always the one who always just loves to line my lips and then i'm just going in with a maroon pencil most people line their lips with a brown pencil but i just feel like if i want my lips to pop more i just use a black pencil anyway uh yeah so i'm just going to apply the maroon lip pencil all over my lips making sure to blend it into the black pencil so that it doesn't look so crazy and then now i'm going to take one of my favorite lipsticks of 2023 though i know we are in 2024 but this was like mm, one of my favorite lipsticks so this is the maybelline superstay vinyl ink and this is the shade royal as you can see that color is great especially on my skin tone that color is great it's like a maroonish red and not only that it has a natural sheen to it so you don't have to apply a lip gloss on top of this Th that's just like it's like magic essentially like it looks like i've applied a lip gloss but it's just lipstick and it's like a liquid formula so it's not like the you know retro formulas now I've just removed all the powder that I'd put to set my concealer and then I'm going to use this She Glam Blush and this is the shade Love Cake. Now I'm just going to put it on my cheeks directly, sort of like the old school method because I already have a slim face with prominent cheekbones. So I, I, if, if you want to apply blush on your cheekbones, you know, and make them sharper that's okay but i already have like prominent prominent cheekbones so i just want to like soften my face a little bit that's why i'm applying it like on the center of my cheeks instead of like dragging it high up my cheekbones you can always drag it high up your cheekbones if you want to have like that chiseled effect but i think i naturally have a chiseled face so i will just be applying it on the center only and then now i'm just going to go in with this nyx uh these are eyeshadows liquid eyeshadows but i absolutely love uh applying them on my nose just to create a sheen and there we have it guys